Hi, I'm Cece Doucette, the Director of Massachusetts for Safe Technology, and today we're testifying with the Massachusetts Department of Public Utilities on their grid modernization plans. What we want to do is a demonstration to show these invisible radio frequency and magnetic field emissions that come off of utility smart meters. Behind the wall right here, we have two uh, electric meters mounted that are digitally pulsing these man-made frequencies. So I brought with me today a Safe and Sound Pro 2 broadband RF meter, which will uh, show us what the radio frequency emissions are. And in the scientific literature, the goal is to be below 0.1 microwatts per square meter in any kind of a sleeping area. So I brought with me today my daughter's doll, Lizzie, so we can get kind of an effect of what it would be like to have a child here or an elderly person or a pregnant woman and a fetus or anybody with a compromised health condition that are especially vulnerable to these man-made energies. And it's not great for you and I either. So what I'm gonna do is turn on a timer to give us one minute and one, two, three, four, five, Six. So this goes about six times in about a half a minute. If we double that and get to a minute, then we see that we are getting about 12 per minute. And if you multiply that out by 60 minutes in an hour and 24 hours in a day, we're over 17,000 of these bursts of toxic microwave radiation. Now the industry will go off of averages and they'll say, oh, you know, it only pulses, you know, an average of 0.82 microwatts per meter square. But when we look at the maximums on here, throughout the day, we see this go up to as high as 500. And remember, that's 500 microwatts per square meter. And we want that not to be 500, but below 0 0.1. 500 is 5,000 times too high for where anybody should be spending time next to this. Now, when we look at the other form of man-made energy here, we're looking at a gauss meter where we wanna be under three milligauss, and here we are topped off over 100. So leaving somebody in this kind of an environment has great potential for horrible biological effects. Thank you.